and welcome to you all from the Giuseppe Miazza in Milan. And here we have Inter against Leverkusen. I'm Peter Drury and joining me here, our expert Jim Beglin. Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. We've just been given. the whistle and here we go and it's D'Ambrosio hits it first time <laughs> movement there but not the best of finishes yeah, and it all came from very good trickery in the, in the wider position but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode it should have been much worse well, I think the early signs have been very good for them. They've already got that defence unsettled, and now they've got to back it up. Now it's Palacio. Done very well to intervene. Icardi, he's got the ball, he's got the space. And he's done it! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. What about that, Jim Beglin? Look, he can only exploit the space if the pass is good enough. And in that instance, it was instinctive and quick, and it did the damage. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Looks like a good ball through. That's gone a long way up and away. Swept in. And the keeper's in command. Inter Milan are enjoying a good spell right now and leading. Tries a through ball. Palacio. So they've got the only goal to give them a 1 0 lead. He's got away with one there. Strong punch, it's come loose. The move looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Nagatomo. Hands it forward, Icardi with the ball through. Find its target. That's unlucky, just wouldn't come down. Well, how close can you get? That must have been a matter of inches.
into Milan. Far ahead here. It has been a good half for them. Where to from here? D'Ambrosio. D'Ambrosio. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Half-time whistle goes. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Into Milan, head for the dressing room, in possession of a 1-0 lead. <laughs> whistle goes, and we start the second half. 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Into Milan, what lucky. They have escaped lightly. Now it's Palacio. Palacio! Well, for me, he had a very decent crack at it, but it has to be said that the odds on those from distance were never really that good, and it always favoured the keeper in that instance. Mauro Icardi unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Into Milan, haven't made a substitution yet. Felipe Melo, Jeffrey Condogbia. Tries to get it forward quickly. It's Condogbia! Appearance and very necessary. Jeffrey Kondogbia would have known he needed to generate more power behind that, but it just lacked the precision anyway. Now here's the through ball. Firmly met. It's a loose ball. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Try from distance. Oh, and that should have been two. What a huge let off that was. Conceding them would really have left the momentum to climb. There will be a throw in. Still just that single goal, and we are nearly done. stage of the game they need to get into a more attacking position and for a moment you felt that was going somewhere but they'll have to go again aimed long and direct shall Miranda cuts it out all's loose who's getting there and the keeper turns it behind oh a very decent attempt Time is up, and there goes the whistle. What a game. 
End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. But you know, it's not easy to hold on to a lead over a long period, but I thought they showed great shape and good discipline to see the whole thing through. That's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.